All right, so we're going to take a look at how the negotiator works as far as for um, when we're doing battles here. Uh, what I usually look for is either a... I have a 7 star, so it makes it a little bit easier, so I'm usually faster. But this is the same process you would use in the event that your negotiator is actually slower than theirs. Um, if you have a 5 star negotiator, you can go after a 6 usually. I wouldn't go after a 7. Um, you can always take out a Malevolence fleet as well. Um, Malevolence is crushed on uh, defense pretty easily. Um, but there's a couple different lineups actually that you may see uh, when it comes to negotiators being out there. Uh, right now you can see the most common is going to be the Hound's Tooth, ETA, and Umbarn. Uh, but there's also a version where instead of having a barn out there or Hound's Tooth, instead they'll have uh, Ahsoka's ship, uh, which is actually a little easier even um, to, to take down. So we're going to go ahead and run through this one here real quick. Um, so with my pilots, um, I don't have any Gear 13 pilots except for uh, Kenobi on this one here. So nothing's uh, over the top. But um, I like Ahsoka in the... Um, reinforcement position and the reason i like that is because of this ability here um with the reinforcement bonus and that's going to be gaining the critical damage up for two turns uh, extremely important when you are kind of running this style of lineup so um i have the uh silencer in there because he's a he's great for damage um i don't always pull him but he's great uh rex would be my next one uh because of the buffs that he can give uh, upon entry into um into, into the field here with giving the defense up the health up or the critical chance up um so i prefer him there that's what i'll use for a healthy fleet and then plo is great um to have even as a ship that may just die right away um like mine because i've got a bad plo um but this ability here getting the dispel debust on all allies and recovering the 40 percent health and 40 percent protection is great so that's kind of the method of my madness here um let's see so let's go ahead and jump into the battle So right out the gate, it doesn't really matter if their other ships are a little faster. Um, the key is to always focus on Anakin first. I'm actually going to use my basic at first. What you need to do is you need to get Anakin down to the red before the other capital ship goes. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try this here. And then I should be able to get him down and low enough. Uh, so this one didn't work out as well. But if you get Anakin low enough he will actually uh, be able to uh, stop the enemy from using their days. Um, at this point now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in a reinforcement. I was bringing in Ahsoka um, because it was going to dispel all, uh, all the buffs on the enemy and gain the, uh, protect, uh, the health up for that. So we're going to go ahead and call her in and immediately you're able to use her and use her big special here, which is going to be the big one right there. Always take out the Hound's Tooth first. So that's kind of the, the way to go about that there. Because it's actually going to reset for her in a moment anyway. She's going to get another chance at it. So, which is really, really nice. Um, let's see. And then we're going to go ahead and use it again. And it takes a good amount of health out of there. Um, I will then uh, provide the unending loyalty um, to either Ahsoka, if both um, Anakin and her are healthy. Um, but in this case, since Anakin is on the verge of death, we're going to go ahead and give it to him, which is going to give him the chance to uh, be revived, essentially, um, in the event that they do get the unending loyalty up again, So, uh, or take him down. So, let's see. So we're going to go ahead here and actually try to pop over to Bananakin here. I'm going to put him into, out of his unending loyalty. And then I my health is kind of low here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull in Plo uh, to get rid of any debuffs and heal everyone up a bit. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and probably, let's see. Uh, so I don't need to spell any debuffs. And at this point, I don't need to heal up again. Um, I can just go ahead and use a basic. Nothing too crazy. Plo is meant to die, so it's not the end of the world if he does. Um... It's really, really not, so I uh, wouldn't worry too much about that, uh, just based upon how he is. Um, he's specifically there just to get that heal up there at, the, at that point, so um, let's see. So I'm actually going to go after Plo, uh, because I wanted to get him out of here. Alright, so we've got a few more down. Anakin is ready to be hit again. 
because his unending loyalty fell off and the unending loyalty has fallen off of everyone else here and I can use the special here as we'll hit both ships. So that's kind of a, a good basis for the run. Um, you just really want to try to take down Anakin very first thing. So um, I've fallen pretty far for this one here, for this battle. Um, but like ones that I would probably go for is like Peldor here. I could easily go for. He's got a six star. Um, I might be able to take out uh, the Fallon Lacer there, uh, just depending. Um, let's see. Because, I mean, y you kind of look at GP to start. Uh, but what you're really looking for when you find an enemy that you really think you might go for, you're going to go ahead and select their main capital ship, see what they've got going on as far as their abilities go, um, and then I check their speed to see if they're faster, just to kind of know how important it is to get um, the ship ready, or Anakin's down. Um, but it's just kind of also knowing your own ships. I also sometimes to check out the pilots as well. Um, I try to avoid R7s at the moment only because I don't have the relics on my pilots. Um, but seeing a low hound's tooth is always really nice. But you can use actually a, a Ahsoka's um, ability there, which still take out an R three uh, double Zeta Bosk. So um, that's kind of a quick rundown. Um, I hope that kind of explained it a little bit better for you.